All right, that of course was Fantasia, When I See You. Um, so um, a judge uh, in Alabama um, is suspended because he said that George Floyd um, got what he deserved. He is suspended in Alabama. And also, uh, he has been under review for a hundred or so racially insensitive or outright racist things. A judge in Alabama. A judge, uh, I believe, in uh, Wisconsin has decided that uh, uh, Rittenhouse, Kyle Rittenhouse, who murdered two people uh, during the George Floyd protest, he went from Illinois to Wisconsin, murdered two people who were unarmed, took a long gun, murdered those people. 17 years old, this boy was. His mother dropped, took him from Illinois uh, to Wisconsin with a gun. Now, most people's mothers drop you off at the movies or at a friend's house. Uh, this woman dropped their son off with a gun. Uh, and can't we can't be shocked at the results. He murders two people. Um, and the judge in that particular case uh, says that the victims, the people who are dead, cannot be referred to as victims. But they can be referred to as looters and rioters. A judge in St. Louis a few years back, um, uh, there were police officers who had killed a young black man. Um, there was evidence that they, they, they saw them plant a gun in his, in his car. There was no evidence, uh, that the man had ever, young man had ever owned the gun. There were no figures for something. A judge decided, a judge decided that, of course, a drug dealer would have a gun. It stands to reason to a dr that a drug dealer would have a gun. He, he, uh, he dropped the charges. A judge decided that. A judge uh, in the Botham John uh, case decided that Amber Geiger deserved a hug and a Bible. A judge decided that. We are being judged by people who every day bring their biases, their misconceptions, their outright hatred to the bench. And in addition to changing, we know for a fact that there is bias in the judicial system. A judge in Rutherford County, Tennessee, made up charges to send five and six-year-old black children to jail. A judge, because they bring their biases, their hatreds, and their inclinations to the bench that is supposed to be impartial. Now, uh, you know, a judge, a justice is supposed to be blind. Being, it is supposed to mean that I will leave my biases at the door when I put on that robe, and I will decide to hear this fairly. But we're picking people as judges, I think in large part because people want these kinds of results. They want to show us that our lives don't matter. They want to bend, they want to tip the, uh, the, tip the scales of justice and give the side they believe in an unfair advantage. Over and over and over again. Everything that has happened to us, to us or for us, has happened generally through the courtroom. Judges decide. And judges are generally oftentimes voted on. Latasha Harlins was killed in Los Angeles almost 30 years ago by a, by, a Korean, uh, by a Korean grocery store owner. A judge sentenced that woman to six months, uh, to, to no time in jail and two years probation. A judge. Judges can help us or hurt us. Judges have an immense amount of power and oftentimes we are unaware or, or, or should be more aware of how important voting for them and understanding who they are is. They who, who they are is. It, they sit on that bench, and they can either either dole out justice or they can do, do, dole out dole out injustice. It is up to us to hold them accountable to make sure that the people who are sitting in judgment of us do not have a jaundiced eye. If justice is supposed to be blind, we have to do all that we can to make sure that broad don't take a peek. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the DL People Show.